doing right now. Amen. You know, uh, for, for a brother like me, you know, people know me from the streets. And when they see me, when they used to see me, they used to see me as a dope dealer. But now they look at me today, they see me uh, as a man that, that's uh, a church woman, a godly man. And they look up to me. And that makes me feel so good. And I say thank you. Your father, the late Bishop Frazier told me, son, whatever you do, do it. Because that's what I did, and that's how I was able to learn and get to where I am. Well, what I find out um, at this stage of life, I I'm facing burnout. And, and, and I think what we need to consider is each of us are wired and designed in a very unique way. God has a very specific plan. There's a general plan for all of our lives, right? I would that all would be saved, right? But then he has a specific call for my life. And I need different coaches and mentors and pastoral direction that can help speak and identify and minister into those ears, help develop and cultivate so that I can be all that God wants me to be. And I need someone to be able to say, bro, you need to slow down now. You're doing too much, right? And so I think it's a challenge, and we're always going to be challenged by it. And, but we always need to be cognitive that this is a real challenge, and, and burnout is a reality. And as a result of it, just in the last few uh, weeks, we saw three pastors, two of which have pastored major churches, commit suicide. Brother, you can't be uh, overwhelmed by the church expectation. No, uh, but I think it's critical, and I, 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 I said it again, you know, I'll say it again, I think it's necessary that, you know, just as God met us where we were, is we need to meet the youth of where they are, you know, and, and you need to tell the youth, like Spike Lee said, don't believe the hype, right? You know, but don't don't believe it. So it's you you have you you have to to come down to their level in a sense. You have to <coughs> say, okay, this is what I'm seeing, but this is what you need to be doing. But you need to express that in a way that is not going to uh, chase them off. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. So, and that and that's coming that's coming from a young brother. You know, that's coming from. But I, I keep uh, pushing these brothers on the job. Where I see where they surrender slowly. Brother come in one day, he was crowned, man. I just got to think that I. I, uh, I, uh, I got about a week to move with the same brother. I said, well, man, pray. I said, come here, let me pray with you. And so uh, I prayed with him. Uh, you uh, he, 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 first, I couldn't even do that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, every eye shall see, every knee shall bow, and every tongue don't perform. And so this brother stood there and we prayed for him. And before that week was over, when he came to me, he said, James, I found him another place. You know, but that's what I do. You know, I, I, I keep pushing. You know, that's, you know and, and don't give up on him. Uh, just real quick, um, I, I wasn't, in fact, I was saved at age 22. May not believe it, but first off the streets, my father was a pimp. Um, and for us to say that um, you don't want to hear, I disagree with that, man. Um, I believe the Bible. Scripture says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father. Uh, they may not respond the way that we want them to respond. John Maxwell said this. He said that uh, all communicate, but few connect. Our objective is to connect with these young brothers and sisters out here. We need to be committed to the Bible way of doing things. Apostle Paul said, so I don't go off on a tangent. I became all things to all people. And the result is that I may win some. So I, I may not have 100% effectiveness in terms of seeing folk convert, but I have 100% effectiveness in terms of fulfilling the expectation God has for me. It's anywhere in the realm of religion at all. Godliness of any kind to them. They don't want it. They don't want it. It's like this. Let me tell you, it's like this. Okay? And I'm not, I'm not no way in sense of form compared, you know, the youth as, as dogs, okay? But you have a dog, okay? And you 
try to potty train him. You try to potty train a dog. Okay, so what do you do? You take him out. And you take him out and you say, you need to use the bathroom right here. This is where you need to use the bathroom. And you take him out every day. Okay? The problem is, we're so inconsistent. Okay? You're inconsistent. You have to set a base and a foundation to continue every day. It can't be this day, take tomorrow off, take this day off. It's like lifting weights. Take this day off, take this day off. No, you have to do it this way today, this way tomorrow, this way tomorrow, and soon the dog will be potty I was willing to, to surrender to this addiction. And, and, and no kidding, uh, I, I got it. You know, but she was still dealing with that. So my sponsor told me, you're going to have to leave her. So I left because, and, and I took my son with me. And so when I took my son with me, me and him moved in all the apartments over there. Um, <clears throat> about a year or so later, uh, they called me and told me I had to come and get the rest of my kids. So I raised my kids. They mother one with me. Hey, and so, so brothers, we have to be integrous. We have to walk with integrity and, and, hold, and, and hold our stand. Don't give up, right? So I just have a couple things to, to kind of add to that. We need to be visible. So we need to be in a community. We need to let, first we need to be visible in our homes. Walk unto us for winning the world and our children. I'm not, I'm not talking about if they're, if they're doing their own thing and we're putting something in them. Walk unto us if they're doing their own thing because they ain't getting what they need from us. I coached a boxing team, I started a boxing team. A Sherrod was on my team, uh, my cousin. And, um, and we were doing well. We were going across the state and winning. And, and, and where's the brother who said he's from Detroit? We were going to go to Crown Gym and whoop them up, but. It says pick two or three that mean the most to you. That coincides with your value structure. That coincides with your morals. And take those tasks up. And then everything else pray about and, and, you know, kind of let go. I'm a boxer. This is, that's what I did. I hate boxing to start crying. I called the brothers up, met them at Perkins, prayed for the breakfast. I said, I have to stop. I said, because my little eight-year-old said he hated boxing. What he really was saying is, Dad, I want your time. And I get jealous. When you're out there, we were doing it in my garage. When you're out there working with them fellas, and I'm looking out the window. We have to have integrity, right? We can't just preach one thing and live another thing. So be visible, be accessible, and be available. And I think we all can connect.